On today's video, catch, clean, and cook, deer camp style. Hey there, outdoor YouTubers. It's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. And I'm out at the deer camp tonight with my two sons. And like I said earlier, uh, we're out here, we're uh, going to do a little fishing. It's actually June, so maybe we should call this fishing camp. And uh, we're going to go out and try to get some walleyes tomorrow. Um, and like I said earlier, we're going to try to do a uh, catch, clean, and cook video. Uh, my dad will be joining us one of the days we're going to be out here. We're going to be out here a few days. And uh, hopefully the fish are biting and we can come up with kind of a fun, interesting video. Alright outdoor YouTubers, this is phase two of the fish camp, catch, clean, and cook. Okay, got ourselves a decent walleye here, I'm going to clean them up and uh, it'll make for a great fish fry. So like I've told you guys before, I use two knives, uh, a little bigger one for some of the bigger cuts, a little smaller one for the intricate stuff, and we'll just go ahead and get started. Right behind this fin, angle in. You know, get under those scales, angle in, and we're going to get to here, switch knives, we're just going to follow this back, we're only going so far, we're only going to where the, the ribs start, we're going to go over those ribs in just a second, but first we're going to do this part, okay, and then once you get past the bunghole, you can go all the way across, Hug that spine all the way down. Okay. All right. Now we're just going to get in here. We're going to go up and over the rib cage. And there's those little pin bones. We'll show you those after. But those little pin bones we're going to cut through. But for right now, we're just going on top of the ribs. That belly meat is pretty tough. We're going to cut over that. Right down. And there's one fillet. Underneath, angle under the scales. for holding, get started.
only thing left are these pin bones running right along this line. Flip this around. We're just going to kind of cut those out. Alright, so we got that. Same thing right along this line, right along there. They only go back to about as far as the bung hole goes. So just start back about that point and just kind of cut them out. Feed that to the cat if you want, but it's it's full of pin bones. And there we go. These are uh, two nice boneless fillets of walleye. Uh, you know, we'll probably fry them up tomorrow night and uh, I'm sure it'll be fantastic. Okay guys, we're going to uh, batter up our fish. We've got our fish chunked up here and uh, we're going with this uh, shore lunch beer batter style and brand. And all you really do there, take a beer, okay, open that up. Uh, we're going to use the Miller for mixing with the shore lunch uh, batter, the spotted cow, that, that'll be for drinking. Okay, you just kind of pour some in here. Okay, you just kind of add beer. And just kind of whisk it or Fork it together. You want to get it nice and smooth. No clumps, no chunks. I think that's pretty good for camp. I think that'll be good enough. All right. Well, we're gonna cook this stuff up outside so it doesn't smell the camp all up, and. Uh, we're going with this uh, extra virgin olive oil, okay? It's a, it's a good oil to go with uh, for fish and, and all sorts of things. Um, yeah, I like to go with the, the extra virgin olive oil. The, um, you know, not just the regular virgin, you know, you, you want the olives that really, really, really didn't have sex, you know, making this oil. But anyways, so when that kind of gets popping, that's when we'll stick some fish in there. The table's not quite level, we had to add a few shingles on this side to kind of keep the oil nice and even. That's just this kind of stuff you got to do when you're uh, at deer camp. When I cleaned up this walleye last night, I did a pretty quick overview of how to fillet a walleye. Um, if you're really interested in a step-by-step -step, uh, method for cleaning walleye, go to my channel, Netter's Practical Outdoors, 
and uh, I do have a video called flaying a walleye or cleaning a walleye, something like that. If you search Kenner's Practical Outdoors, cleaning a walleye, I'm sure you'll come to it. And that video gives step by step how to uh, flay out a walleye, you know, correctly and getting all the bones out, that sort of thing. Uh, when I did this one last night, like I said, it was just a quick little overview. It wasn't really meant for instruction. So if you really are interested in learning how to clean up a walleye, uh, go to that video and uh, that should get you going in the right direction. Yeah, like I said, we didn't really want to uh, fry this up in the camp. We don't want the camp smelling like fried fish for the next six months. But uh, I bet all the bears in the area have taken notice of this. wrong with getting them a little blackened right I think down south uh, that blackened catfish is like a delicacy and get these out on some paper get rid of a little bit of the oil and all right let's see what we got Well, there you go, guys. Uh, out at the deer camp with a catch, clean, and cook, and eat walleye video. And it really turned out good. It really turned out good. Wish you could be here to taste it. But uh, anyways, guys, hey, remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter with my sons out at the deer camp eating walleye for Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.